Hey everybody, I hope everyone's well. Um, I have a little project that I've been working on that I thought I would get on here and share it today. Um, I think I have finished it up. There's a few things I will probably add to it. But um, I love how this has turned out and I'm hoping that um, <laughs> I'm not the only one who finds this just beautiful. I think this is so beautiful. And so I got this idea from watching Jennifer. Um, she is a trace of sparkle here on YouTube and I think that's also her Instagram name. I'm not real sure. Um, mostly I just watch her hair on, on YouTube and she makes the prettiest um, shabby chic looking um, journals and file folders and just all sorts of projects. And so um, when I saw hers, hers was made from using the the Frank Garcia's Prima Dulce collection and it was just so beautiful and I was going to use the Prima Dulce collection but then I decided that um, I got my order from um, Urban Gems which is Nurse Tara 04 here on YouTube and so I got my order for the uh, Maggie Home Sweet Story in and it's just so cute and so I thought this would just make a really cute um, altered file folder um, it, mixing um, this cute collection from Maggie Holmes and Shabby because um, the file folder I'm going to show you what a um, what a blank one looks like um, so the file folder that I use looks just like this before I before I added all the papers and all the the embellishments to it so it looks shabby it looks kind of grungy it is coffee dyed um, I did make this um, and how I made this was Jennifer has a video um, showing the insides of the file folders that she sells and so I just looked at hers and just um, used it as an example to to make mine so um, yeah this is what it looks like before it's decorated and so cute but it does look grungy and so after I added this cute paper oh my gosh I think it turned out so beautiful and so what those the file folders just made from regular letter size and file folders and I coffee dyed them and so yeah I just coffee dyed them put them in the oven at 200 degrees to dry them and then I just started um, you know making the, the the file folder and so you take your file folder and you fold it up and I believe Jennifer said and um, that she got and um, the ideal from a girl on the ridge and she's also here on YouTube and she does a bunch of, of shabby um, projects and so yeah so you just use a regular file folder and copy dye it and I'm thinking that you don't even have to copy dye it I'm thinking you can just use it like this and if you don't like the torn look, I'm thinking that you could just um, um, maybe punch with like a, a paper punch. Punch the paper so that the flaps when they come over, they've got like scalloped edges or, or you know, decorative edges. So I'm thinking you don't even have to make it grungy to make one. I'm thinking that you can just um, make one with just plain file folders. And I may, I may try that and if I do, um, I'll definitely get on here and show you how it comes out. So um, also throughout um, my file folder, I want to point out that um, I did buy this kit here from Jennifer, um, A Trace of Sparkle. I bought this kit from her because um, sometimes she will um, have, have kits for sale that she's coffee or tea dyed. And I happened to snag one. I got lucky and I got one before they sold out. I also got my mother one, and so um, hopefully my mom, she doesn't know yet, but I've also made my mom one of these, and I stitched it with purple thread, and I bought her some purple purple paper, a purple paper pad, and I've given her one of these, and so hopefully my mom, <laughs> she will take all this and hopefully make herself one. But um, So throughout mine, I have used um, the pieces in here, so you will see some grungy things, but I feel like the grunge mixed with the cute 
just works. I think it is so pretty. So, um, like I said, I used the Maggie Home Sweet Story collection, and I've also used a bunch of dies throughout that are from In Love Art Shop, and I'm going to list all those below in case you're interested in any of those, so you can you can find them really quick. And yeah, I think that's all that um, I want to say before I start flipping through this for you guys. So isn't this just so beautiful? I just, I'm so happy um, with the way this turned out. I think it is just so pretty and it's, I love all the yellow. I think the yellow and the pink are just so beautiful together. Um, I did use a lot of gold and yeah, so let's go ahead and look at this. Um, so the front flap here, um, I did do a, um, stitching all around my, so I did use hot pink stitching um, on all my flaps. And here I just, um, what I did was tore a piece of paper out um, here um, and here to the back for, for the background paper and then cut out a rectangle. And then that way I was able to tuck in this piece of fabric here. I think this fabric is so pretty hanging off the bottom in Jennifer's. Hers was like that. She had a piece of fabric or lace trim just hanging off the bottom. I thought that was so beautiful. So, of course, I had to copy that. And so I had to um, tuck it up under there, so I had to hide it somehow. And then I just embellished it here with um, the word sweet, and I stitched through that. I used one of the labels from one of the cutouts. So there's a cutout sheet in the paper pad, and I just um, used one of these. Um, labels here for my for my word and then um, when I ordered my um, Maggie Home Sweet Story collection kit from Urban Gems it didn't come with the ephemera so I don't have any of the ephemera all I had was the cut apart sheets that came in the paper pad so I don't have any of the puffy stickers all I had was the chipboard stickers and then just the regular cardstock stickers so I had to make do with what I had, so hopefully when I finally get my hands on that stuff, I can go through and add some of that throughout this book. So, um, you know how when you um, find a collection that's just so pretty, you, you hoard it? <laughs> well, this is a way, I feel like for me, that I don't have to hoard the collection. I can make myself something using a lot of the pieces and hoard this. So, this is my Maggie Holmes collection hoard file folder book <laughs> so that's what um, I'm going to use this for is to hoard my Maggie Holmes sweet story and then the rest of it I can use however I want to so um, that's my little thoughts on that and so let's I'll get back to I'm um, showing you all this so throughout I also um, left a lot of strings hanging so I think that it's just so cute all these little strings that are hanging um, so yeah, all throughout, you're going to see all kinds of string. Like here on my file folder, I left all the pink strings hanging on the ends too. So I have the pink and the gold, and it's just so beautiful like that. And so up here, I've just attached a um, tool bow that I made. Um, so I made that using the bow at all that I picked up recently. Um, and so I had made that when I first got my bow at all. And it was just laying up there in my stash. And I thought it went perfectly with the colors. And so I, I adhered it up here to the corner. And behind there is just a little gold wreath um, that I also had laying up in my work spot. And so this flap opens up like this. And this flap on this side, um, I covered it with a yellow doily. I just happened to have a really large yellow doily in my stash. And so I covered it on here. And it, I went ahead and wrapped it around. So it wraps around to the back, um, to the back flap or the back side, <laughs> on the other end, on the other side, on the inside. Um, and so here I just put some cut aparts, one of the little tag cut aparts I put right here, and tied some crinkled seam binding on here. Um, put some enamel dots and um, one of the cut aparts, and this is one of the hot air balloons from the the chipboard, and I just. Um, a little bit of embroidery thread back here that has the little the little gold sequins on it and so um, that's what that flap looks like and then it opens up oh I also attached this little um, this little dangle here this is supposed to go this way for some reason it's all twisted up but um, 
it looks like this. I just put all these beads together. There's a little pink flower sequin on that one there. Super cute. I'll let, I stayed with the pinks and the golds um, for that. And so it's on this little clip here that when you open it up, holds a paper pad. So here, let me um, lay this down here so you can see what it looks like. So here's closed and here's opened. Isn't that so neat? I think that is so neat. I just love these flaps. And so on this side, I have a piece of tool laid down here, a couple pieces of ephemera. Um, this one peeks out from behind this notepad. And this notepad, all it is is copy paper that I've ripped. So this is just a bunch of copy paper that I've ripped to use as a notepad. Um, and I've clipped it on here with this, with this clip here. And Jennifer, she had torn notepads all throughout hers too, and I thought that was a really neat little thing that she added. And so on this side here, um, I took one of the grungy CD um, envelopes that she had in the kit, and see what I mean by adding the grungy with the with the cutesy. It just it's so it's so beautiful. I just love it. I just I just really love how that looks. And so I used um, one of the the little stickers here, one of the butterflies from the collection, and a little some enamel dots, and I attached this so that it's tucked behind this piece of paper here, so that it opens up, you know, it flips really well. And so this is just covering the back on this side. Put one of the little bows there from the Maggie Holmes collection. And I did adhere this little bag here. So um, it's adhered, and then I just stitched on here I stitched on one of the little cut aparts, cut apart frames that comes in the paper pad, and this is just a little doily that I have and um, just tucked up in there. So that's what the middle looks like, and then this side over here, I took the um, Maggie Holmes flower um, die cut die set and made myself a little flower here to use as a tuck spot, and so. I just have these tucked up in here like this. This is a little cut apart from the collection, and this is from Jennifer's kit. Um, it's just a piece of, it's a grungy postcard that she coffee dyed, and somehow she got this lace pattern on it, and I just think that is so pretty. And here is where I stamped a little stamp. So all throughout, because I didn't stamp any backgrounds on mine, I wish I had, but I really didn't know where I wanted to put any stamps yet, so I didn't stamp. And I found that um, stamping on it after was a little complicated. And I'll, sh I'll show you in a minute what I mean. But these little stamps, just the little touches like this, they were easy to do. And so all throughout, I've put up these little hearts. So, um, yeah. So that's what um, this, this little flip here looks like on the front. And then it opens up like this. Isn't that so neat? And so now you have a double, a double flip here. So this side here looks like this. I'll pull it up a little closer so you can see it. So it looks like this. And you can see here, here's where I put in the little heart um, stamps. And so this side here, I just tore some paper and attached it to this flap here. Um, I backed this little cut apart that came with the paper collection. I just love this. This little swan here is so cute. And there is enough, there's an opening here so that you can tuck something up in there if you want to, or me, I guess, if I want to. Um, and then I put this little tool bow here, um, a sequin and an apple dot, and a little star chipboard um, as little accent embellishments. And here I took a piece of ruffled paper and put one of my mom's crochet doilies here and just made a little embellishment. Um, it turned out pretty cute. A little dark. I think it's a little dark. I think it's too busy, but um, it's still okay. And so this flap opens up like this, and here's what um, this side looks like. So I had this pinwheel already made in my stash, and it was pink and yellow um, with the gold, and it, it went perfectly with what I was doing, so I went ahead and attached it. But see how I brought this, um, this yellow doily around and I adhered it here. So it just wrapped around from the front around to this side. And it's so cute. 
and here I just made a little um, like this is a cut apart and this is a piece of the paper so I, I what do you call it I backed the cut apart with a piece of paper <laughs> piece of pattern paper oh my goodness and then here's one of the little heart heart stamps I think I showed you that and then this is from my just a piece from my collection that um, was in my stash because you know I don't have any of the ephemera so then this opens up like this isn't this so cute oh my goodness isn't that just so beautiful to look at all these pretty colors yeah this is grungy but these are so pretty and I think it just works so well together and so <clears throat> excuse me on this side here I just ruffled up a big piece of paper so this is really wide and it's it made a little tuck spot here um, I don't have anything to tuck here to show you what I'm here so here we go so see it makes a little tuck spot right here so I could tuck all kinds of things in there and then over here on this side I attached another yellow doily and the way the that you fold the folder up like I was showing you a minute ago like you take the folder here and you fold it up like this and then it folds in so it creates um, these little tuck spots here and here so <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> I had um, this little tuck spot here and I, I adhered a piece of the the paper from the collection first I stitched it and then I glued it on to make um, a tuck spot here let me take this off so I can show it to you so you have this tuck spot here and then this tuck spot here and um, just tuck your little goodies in like that and this is just a little hidden paper clip that I made so inside here there is a paper clip and um, I had to attach attach it like or make it like this with this piece of paper in so that when I stuck it on here it would slide in real easily I was having a hard time getting to my paper clip to clip it on so I went ahead and, and attached this piece of paper back here I just folded it around the paper clip and so now it slides really nice and easy up in there and so I just made a little um, shaker paper clip and um, I used a little piece of the paper from the collection behind there and this is um, one of the Polaroid frames from the chipboard and this is one of the tags from the cut aparts and so I just um, decorated that up and and just made it into a, a little hidden paper clip there and this side here um, it's just I made a little pocket here and um, made one of the little flowers using the die set the Maggie Holmes die and back in here I don't know if you can see it Let's see if I can pick it up there's a little there's a little die cut back in here right here that I used and I'll show that to you in a second and then I cut apart from the collection and this pocket here um, I stamped back here and here's where I tried to stamp and I had to stamp over it because it was missing part of the part of the letters so it kind of smudged just a little um, but not too bad I think it looks okay and then um, also stamped a couple of the hearts there and um, this is just a little I was gonna try and make a pocket out of this and I didn't like the way it was looking and so I'm gonna use this as a base for a card later and uh, let me show you so this is a really pretty background die that I used and I got it from in love art shop and here's what it is called if you're interested in that and here's what it looks like and it makes really really cute um, like background backgrounds for cards and so um, I had that made so I just went ahead and tucked that up in there like that and um, oh this die here um, it came from this set here and the lace circle lace background dies doily set and so I just used one of the um, dies from that set right here it makes some really cute little little die die cuts and so that's what I stuck right back in there and I love that I love how that looks so this folds up like this and then you have this this um, upper side here this upper section and it looks like this all closed Let's see if I can hold it up here so here I just uh, tore some paper 
Um, but before I adhered it down, I stitched this piece of ribbon to it right here and up here at the top to make a little band. So this is like a little band that you can tuck things up in. Um, used a little sari silk and tied a little bow here and a little paper clip and attached a little tag. Um, and then I stamped and so in love here on this on the back of it and just attached a little dangle that I had in my stash that I had made. Okay, and so this flips open like this. Um, this side here, you can see here where I stamped on the little hearts. And here I used a piece of scrap from the file folders and just made a little pocket. Um, this right here, this little bow here I made using um, a little bow die that I recently got here from Creative Time. And these make the cutest little bows. I just love those bows. And so that's what I put here. Use um, I made that using the paper from the collection. And also, I just, I don't know if you can see here how I, um, I just, I, I went around, um, what am I trying to say? I went around this folder here with some of the paper from the collection and, and, and stitched it before I glued it on. <laughs> I don't know I'm trying to say. I decorated it up. <laughs> and it opens up like this, so um, there's a little, a little pocket here to put things in and then here also you can tuck things in up here at the top so um, this piece right here is actually adhered because when you open it and um, there's a little brad here and I'll show you in a minute why I have this brad but it's to cover the brad and so that just tucks in there like that and this just helps um, hold that down so um, Here's what the inside of this one looks like. Um, really colorful, isn't it? I think it's so pretty. So on this side, I made another one of the little paper pads. And so, like I was saying, this is a little brad. And um, it's going through that bag topper there. And so the bag topper that I used here from the In Love Art Shop, this is what it's called. Um, it made this large one here, cut that large bag topper that I put on this paper pad here and so yeah the the brad holds the paper pad on and then I had to attach this piece of lace here to hold the paper pad still because it slides around but I intentionally did this in case I wanted to take it off so it wasn't permanently stuck on with a brad I can get behind it and take it off if I want to and then here is just a little little stamp um, this, one of these little stamps I had in my stash. I stamped it on here. Um, I used a piece of the chipboard from the collection. And here's a little tag. Um, this tag, this grungy tag, came from Jennifer's set um, that I purchased from her. And then this is just in a um, ice cream sticker, cardstock sticker that I stuck on there. And so this side, um, okay, so... Back here, <laughs> where we start. Back here, I made a little pocket. Here, let me set it down so maybe you can, can see what I'm talking about. So back here, I just um, made a little pocket out of out of paper. Um, I layered the paper up so the pocket's made from the black and or the white and the black hearts. And then I ripped a piece of paper from um, the pattern paper and, and topped it. And then I adhered this hot pink um, trim here ruffle trim and put a piece of Rick Rack across there. So um, I adhered that behind this little this little tuck here. So it goes back there not very far, you know, just enough so that I could um, stick this envelope back in here. So I wish I was able to stamp something there, but I'm afraid if I tried to stamp it now, it would just, you know, it would mess up because the paper's buckled and there's stuff on the other side and it just wouldn't be flat. So um, I missed out on, on that, but when I get the ephemera, maybe I will um, put a piece of ephemera back in there so it's not so plain. And the envelope kind of hides it anyway. So so this side here is the top of the duck, the tuck spot where the um, folder folds up. And so um, I just cut a piece of paper to fit that and cut this, um, die cut this shape out here attached the yay, stitched all around everything, and then I glued it on. 
So that makes a nice little tuck spot here for a couple of envelopes. And I did emboss um, several envelopes that I used um, throughout here. Okay, so those just fit in there like that. And then this side here looks like this. Um, I just adhered a, a, a piece of ephemera that I had in my, in my stash from a different collection. And stamped a little heart there. Um, here I made a pocket um, with some pattern paper and then just a, a scalloped card that I have in my stash. And I just tore it across here to fit there. <clears throat> and then I tucked in some library cards. Um, made this cute little embellishment here. This is a little ribbon rosette that I made. And um, one of the little stickers here from the collection. Um, and then put some thread back up in there. And a little piece of sequence trim that hangs there and this is just a little stamped banner that I had also made up in my stash and so that looks like that and isn't this so neat so this one folds up this way and then this one folds up the opposite way and then when you fold it up like this see how bulky that is oh my gosh it is so chunky it's so beautiful. <laughs> I just love it. Okay, and so then the back flips around like this. And you also get a flap on the back. So the back has one flap. Um, I did put a pocket on here. So I made this little pocket. Um, cut some little banner strips and adhered to the top of the pocket. Um, covered that with lace and then put some little bows on here. Some little seam binding bows. Um, then I stamped some of the little black hearts. And you know, I just realized I was probably drawn to those little black hearts. Let me see if I can find it. Because of the because of the black and white paper. See how that coordinates? I just realized that. <laughs> it's funny how your mind works, isn't it? So these little black hearts are on here. And then just a piece of um, of the coffee dyed paper that came with um, Jennifer's kit. And so when this opens up here, it looks like this. Isn't this so cute? Um, so on this side here, I just adhered a piece of the pattern paper, the piece with the stars. Um, I trimmed it with a piece of trim. I think this was from Hobby Lobby. Um, I, I sewed on right here, I sewed on some glassine bags and that was an accident. Actually, I meant to sew on one and then when I went um, to put the tag in, I realized I had two. So I went ahead and made two tags, um, which is fine <laughs> because I think this paper is so cute and um, that I wanted it, you know, on something. And so I just made a little tag and put a little glitter reinforcer there at the top. And so I put that right here in this bag and then the bag behind it, I just made a tag from the tiger paper and so I have two cute little tags from the paper I love those papers and then behind the, um, the bags makes a little tuck spot and so I just embossed a couple of envelopes and just tuck them back up in there and this little trim here actually you can tuck your your um, envelopes or whatever up in there like that it helps hold them still Hold them in place and then this side here this little flap here um it's just a piece of card stock scallops card um stock that i had in my in my stash and i just stuck it on there and um, here i stamped and my stamp actually because it was pretty flat i was able to get the stamp on there pretty well um i'm so glad i was able to do that because i really wanted to do that and then here i just made a little coin envelope out of some of the pattern paper Oops, I think I just ripped that. Um, but it looks like this. Um, it's a Velcro closure. And now I'm going to have to go back and try to figure out how I'm going to fix that. Because the way I opened it, I ripped my paper there. But anyway, <clears throat> um, I uh, made a little embellishment here with some of the, the paper. I punched out some paper. And put some string back there in one of the butterflies. Um, this was one of the cut-aparts that looked like a Polaroid um, photo, I guess. And I just cut that part off so that I could use that like that and put a piece of gold um, ruffled paper there. And that's what that looks like. 
And oh my goodness, isn't this just so cute? I just love how chunky this is. And it, it'll hold a lot more stuff and I'm so glad because I'm hoping to fill this up with some handmade embellishments from the Sweet Story collection. So I think I'm just gonna use that for, um, you know, Sweet Story. So I think this is gonna be a great way for me to save some of the, the collection and the ephemera so I don't have to hoard my collection. So um, I hope you enjoyed looking through this with me. If you have any questions, please ask below and I will try and list everything that I possibly can um, below for you guys if you're interested in looking up anything and so thanks for watching and I'll catch you on my next video